of the morning It's very important with Paul before I just know I get the top if she wanna record it I'll never say no, that's boring I popped a molly pill for real In 35 minutes I'm soaring Geeked up, my teeth torturing gums I'm one of the ones I need a son, I'm tired of teaching these niggas who ain't my seed I know I'm blood, but I get head instead whenever you bleed Top of the morning, baby girl, get up, get out of my house This the crib of dreams, man, yeah, sleep on my couch The first thing when I did when I came out here yesterday was like when I turned off the camera and I was just like taking everything in. It's like, I was just manifesting. Like For me, like the biggest thing that I want to do is succeed. And I just have to keep working, keep working, keep working, keep working. Like I'm not going to college like everybody else. Like I'm just gonna just strictly be focused on my content and just see what I, where that takes me. I mean, a lot of people call me dumb. A lot of people are just mad at me because I'm not going to college. But like, why make you happy? I'm making me happy. Like. I don't know. The traditional route, like, it just always, when I when I played football, it just always seemed like the way to go, but it just like, I don't know, like, reality started kicking in, and I realized not everybody's gonna make it to the NFL, not everybody's gonna do what they wanted to do as they wanted to, like, wanted to do as a kid, you know what I'm saying? And, but like, like, always, content has always been a second option to me, but like, now it's just my main priority. Like, when I was a kid, like, I watched YouTube growing up, like, every day. I'm pretty sure I had this channel since, like, 2014 2016 one of the two like December like the day after Christmas. I don't know I have to I have to go look but I don't know like this is just I, I could always see myself doing this like I just I, I love technology I love my camera like ever since I was a kid I wanted a camera I wanted to vlog I watched FaZe growing up like those are just the main influential guys like not just them but it was a whole lot of people that I, I can go on for days so I'm not gonna name them so I don't know that's just me like I'm gonna bet on myself in, in the end in the long run uh, let me let me let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. I'm gonna bet on myself so in the long run I can succeed. You know what I'm saying? That's all you really have to do. That's really all you have to do. So it's 6:34 right now. I don't know if it focused, but I'm finna go and try to go to this second spot. It's called the Coon Rapids Dam. I'm finna just like walk the like the little bridge area. I don't know. I just wanted to catch another vibe. I don't know. I wanted to go see some more scenery. I feel like this wasn't enough. I feel like it's definitely more stuff out there that I want to go look at, but I just didn't get to see it today. But this is still beautiful nonetheless, but I just want to go see something else. And I'm pretty sure you guys too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys do too. So let's go. I made it here. I've been here for like 10 minutes at least. It's like great vibes out here, I'm not gonna lie. I, f I feel as if it's better than the other spot that I'd be going to, but this is a bit much of a longer drive. It's not that far off, but it's it's a bit longer. I, I think I could definitely see myself making it like almost four days a week, but if that don't work out, then I'm just going to my other spot, and that's perfectly fine to me, so. It's beautiful, bro. Y'all gotta try this shit someday. Like, it's actually, oh! Like, it's actually beautiful. I'm not sure how well the mic can hear me or not, but hope you guys can see the vibes, though. What up, y'all? So, it's later in the day now. It's about... It's, it's, it's damn near almost 8. I'm finna go hoop right now. I have nothing else better to do. And I thought that, eh, and I... <laughs> And I thought I would bring you guys with me. So let's go. Yo. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Hey, you want to do like a. Want to do pig on camera? Yeah, you think you're nice? You think you're nice? Yep. That's him, too. <laughs> what the fuck? Anything you can do, I can do better. I'm gonna. Up, bro. Just, uh... No, it's good. It's, it's already recording, bro. It's already going in. Bitch. Oh, I'm done. I quit. <laughs> I'm done. 
Alright, so I don't even, I forgot what day it is for the vlog. I forgot what day it is, but I'm finna go to Kobe's crib real quick. We're finna, we're finna just chill actually. I'm not gonna spoil what we're gonna do yet, but I'll see you guys when we do get there. Let's go. Shit, we rolling already. Look at my glasses on. <laughs> it's your boy Kobe, MTV My Crib. Five. What's up, bro? What's good? Yeah, you cleaned up a little bit. Bro, it's like like a real studio. All right, guys. So if you guys don't know him already, this is Kobe Bohr. Explain Hello. who you are. Like, explain what you do. Shit, I don't know where to start, man. My name is Kobe. Born and raised in Minnesota, yep. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yep. Shoot, I've been going on what, probably like five years. Probably like five years uh, doing photo, and then probably good three or four years doing video. Um, yeah, started back in high school. Um, you know, been Wait, don't, don't, don't get too much into don't it. Don't yeah, 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 <laughs> questions like that, his questions uh, like that. <laughs> All right, you wanna get right into it? Why not? All right, um, what made you wanna take pictures? I could give you the honest answer, or I could give you- Give, give me the honest answer, we, we gonna keep the, it real for him. We gonna keep the it real honest him. answer is uh, <laughs> the hoop dreams weren't working out. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. No, um, I feel that. Nah, I mean that's that's kind of what gave me the push into it originally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I've always been, you know, pretty creative minded. I would say, um, shoot, way back, like, damn near before middle school even, I was doing like I was on the graphic design stuff, so I was making, um, like commitment edits, like that type of stuff. So okay. I was, you know, that was my first little taste of you know working with you know, bigger athletes and all that type of stuff. Um, but I knew I had like, I knew I had like kind of an eye for the creative stuff that early. Creative touch. Right, and that's kind of, that's kind of like the thing you gotta have regardless of, you know, whether you photo, video, graphic design, whatever it might be, like you kind of need that, just have that eye for it. Yeah. And I think I, that's kind of what I realized early. So then, you know, once once basketball i knew i wasn't you know gonna be going d1 <laughs> or anything like that um once that didn't happen you know i wanted to find a way to stay close to it too because yeah. you know i really do love basketball What's that? um and yeah that was just kind of it was kind of a natural little way into it and then what you know kind of started as a hobby turned into like a career so it's been pretty dope okay okay, okay. what made me want to get into photography um I originally had got my first camera just for content for YouTube, just like this. Like that was like like back then. That's when Six Minds was really created. Me and my six guys, like we had this little group chat. We put it all together. I was really the only one editing and putting out the video. So that's when I just turned into the like the what is it like the my other ali alias? I don't I don't know I don't know yeah fuck with it fuck with it uh, <laughs> alias. So um, then 
once I was like, the first day I had my camera, like, I went to go to this party, I took some flicks, like, it was cool. I remember seeing those yeah. before I even knew you. <laughs> like, I, I saw the six mile shit all over. He was like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was just like, niggas was like, actually fucking with it. I was like, like it was it was like, creating memories just like, has always been a thing for me. I've, I've been in YouTube since like 2014. I've, I've said that earlier in the vlog. Really? Yeah. I I've, do that. Yeah, I've been doing YouTube for a long ass time. Like, just like, this kid shit, bro. That's tough. Thank you, bro. Yeah. People were like, they, they were liking the pictures and I just liked what I was what I was seeing. Then I uh, shot my first athlete, Amory, Amory Peterson. You've seen, you probably, you guys have probably seen a bunch of pictures from him, from, from me. But uh, that's when I really just got into it. And then I really seen how like, how much of an impact and like how loved I could really be off of it. Like I was really never in it for the money. Like, mm -hmm. But the money is nice though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The money's nice, like, but if you get into camera shit for yeah, the money, yeah. you're in the wrong Your business. motivation drive will go down instantly, bro. Yeah. So that's how I got into photography. And then we're gonna move on to the next question. Plans for the future? That's a loaded question. <laughs> you wait, should we go to the next a, one? Should we go to the next one? We'll get into it. Um, I said just keep growing. Um, you know, both career-wise and like with my skill set as well. As much as you can, you know, love the stuff you're putting out. It's yeah. always another another gear. You it's can always really another gear. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Continuing to. You know, I'm, I like to focus on different things at a time. With video, I'm trying to tap into learning one specific thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just try to add things in the bag. And over time, that'll add up and then boom, you, you know, you got some, you got got it, some sauce. But then career-wise, networking, that's a really big thing for me. Um, always trying to, you know, network, build the, you know. Build the build, build the name. Yeah, exactly. for sure. You know, continue out trying to make the best content I can uh, with the Gophers, obviously. Um, and then, you know, beyond that, we start we start the job search. We start start looking for the grown man jobs. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the broad answer. Okay. So for me, I'm still in like the early stages. I'm I'm only a year into it, so I'm really just trying to. Even though I started kind of late, like I'm still trying to get back into the like the kick of things, make sure I can get up there with everybody else who is pulling the most views, like so I can be the most consistent, like because consistency is everything. Like those oh. those account like visits that you see on your like your bio, that's mm -hmm. everything, bro. The more you can get your content out there, the more people will know you. But I don't know, like long like long term, like I don't know, I couldn't see myself like doing anything else, like if it if it doesn't involve a camera, like I want to be able to go to the NBA, NFL get signed by a team well not signed but you know like contract get paid everything so Definitely. i don't know I, I could just like creativity is everything i've always wanted to do it ever since i was a kid i wanted to do content so definitely that's that's really just my main goal right for now. sure so okay i'll go first with this one okay so i currently i think i might put I, i'll see what i what i could do editing wise I, I might put on the screen with a little i don't know i don't know but I'll get the little <laughs> yeah, yeah. i'm dealing with the comments though. i'm doing the comments and make that work somewhat professional but okay so my body like camera body that i run right now is it a73 yeah. that's the i don't it's not the latest camera no i'd say it's like the i want to say like the industry standard but like that's that's the most popular yeah. camera out there, and the at most least. expensive one. Right? No, it's not cheap. It, that'll run you a good two thousand. Hell yeah! But uh, it's definitely the most. most All right. Common. So I got my Sony A seven three. I have a Rode microphone on top right now. Yo. Um, my I have a Raconin fourteen millimeter manual focus lens. I'm not I'm not sure how much that costs. I traded it in for a fifty millimeter one point eight f stop. Yo. So, and then I have a Tamron seventy to one eighty with the focal length that's a 2.8 f-stop mm -hmm. that's it's a good substitute a good substitution lens for the one that he has that he'll probably explain to you and like equipment wise i just got this dgi rc2 gimbal that shit's Tons. amazing you you guys will see the the, the quality the the, the shots is nigga it's not gonna look like i'm walking no more it's smooth, smooth as hell so that's that's all i really got in the bag right now besides oh. my macbook and things of that nature Mag, but that's know? essential right oh, there oh most definitely you can't just be running on you cannot regular. i cannot <laughs> underestimate the value of a good macbook you sure, need to have your bro. processing chip on point you need to have your ram on point gigabyte if if that's not there it's gonna sound like your computer is taking off hey like hey you're hey, you're in class hey even it's a good laptop i'm in class all you're in I'm, well, I'm editing pictures in class. Bro. Niggas like, is your computer gonna blow up? No, Bro. nigga. It's I'm convinced that's me, how, man. that's how motherfuckers knew I wasn't uh, doing my classwork. When I was in <laughs> class. I'm not just trying like, about to take off. Man. Oh my life. I'm over my shoulder. I'm getting my shit tapped. I'm, ah, 
close it. I'm okay. Closing my shit instantly, not trying to get in trouble. So for me, you know, I've had a little bit more time to build up gear uh, than Carter has, but I still got a lot of stuff on the wish list. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, personally, you know, I got the A7 III as well. Um, got a uh, so I have a G Master 7200 f.2 lens, uh, the Mark One. I, I want the Mark Two, but uh, that's like my baby. Um, <laughs> that's what. That's that's all I can really say about it. It's like. <laughs> It's it, that special though. It's it that is. special, guys. Like if you go on my page, um, I say at least seventy five percent of the stuff uh, that's on there is shot on that. Um, being able to, you know, having your aperture that low and being mm. that punched in, and that's just a sharp lens. Like Very. the auto focus is like that on it. Um, that bitch heavy too. It is heavy. <laughs> so that could be a good thing. That gives you a little more. Hell heavy. yeah! So you can really um, just. It, no, it'll, it'll be full once you get the hang of it. Definitely. Um, and then I got a 24 to 70 uh, Sigma, actually. Um, I actually almost prefer that over the G Master. It's, it's, that's that's a crazy, that's like a very controversial take. And I'm not going to stand on it. Oh, wait, wait. You can't say something not stand on it. Now. I mean, you can't say some shit not stand on I'll it. Say, I'll say what I like better about it. The Sigma 24 to 70 is smooth. Like, that, like yeah. your zoom on that is just butter. He's not lying. The I G Master. <laughs> Especially if you're young, go the Sigma route. You are going to save so much money. I think I got my Sigma for like 1100 The G Master's. Why is he saying it like it was a low price? He's like, wait, I think he's going to say like 500 600 You said okay. 1100 <laughs> Wait till I tell you what the G Master The G Master's at least, <laughs> at least two. Bro, it look. So if you're saving half your money to get the. Bro. You better have a little bit of money in your bank account. Yeah, it's better. not an expensive yeah. field to get into. Okay, so the next question, I forgot like wh how exactly it was worded. I'll just put it up on the screen, but it was like, when you were first starting, how did you get your name out there? Okay, so for me, like around the area that I was in, like I've, not to sound like an egotistical, like, you know, D-head, like I've always been like known in my area. Mm -hmm. So like, it was rather easy for people to recognize me, but like at the same time, I had just came off of like, just like basically retiring from football so people were still in my ear like go back like why did you stop like why are you doing content blah blah, blah. like right. and i'm not gonna lie my work wasn't the greatest when i first started off but it was something so and i can i if i could see the potential of myself i was just like anybody else can easily see the potential of myself like i had to bet on myself believe in myself so what i really i was just really consistent i worked with people that i knew like i was just really just trying to try different things i just in inspiration wise i looked up to him so when I'm seeing what he's doing, I'm just like, okay, like, I'm going to try to mirror that, but not, like, I'm going to put my own twist to it. I never had the, the gold toning on, on my photos. I always try to do different stuff, so. That's an important thing right there. Yeah. Don't rip anybody off exactly, but you can definitely take inspiration. Exactly. I would do, like, frequent shoots, like, every week, and those would get a lot of engagement. Well, not a lot of engagement, but, like, good for, like, someone who's starting out. So, sure. just, I just try to put my content everywhere. I was posting my, on my Snapchat story, Instagram. Just put it anywhere you can so people can see you and just know you for the real you and like they can recognize your work and you know that's where it all takes off from there. How about you? How do you start off? The biggest thing that I'm going to stress is just reps. Like, just reps. He's not lying. Like, when I tell you, like, you know, I'm not gonna sit up here and tell you that I'm like famous or anything like that. <laughs> I'm definitely not. But like, <laughs> but no, I should wear that differently. I'm not gonna sit sit up here and tell you that I'm like the most known photographer or anything like that but like before people started you know at least noticing my work um you know knowing who I am what I like you know before it got to the point where people were excited to see the little Kobe boy yeah <laughs> yeah um it was a lot of, like people didn't know who I was for the long like it was when I tell you it was a lot of like grinding for real like sitting in the gym for 10 hours <laughs> knowing you're probably not gonna get more than 100 likes being known you can be known in like two different ways i think you know what we were both known for initially is just known like socially like yeah. it's known like oh yeah it's carter that's kobe like whatever just because of like you know us having like fairly big social <laughs> social circles to start with yeah um but when i kind of you know, saw that shift of like people know me for my work. Um, not necessarily people I grew up with, you know, 
like that, but like you get kids seeing your stuff. Like, bro, when I signed my first like autograph, bro. <laughs> you signed the autograph? I haven't even done that. That's crazy. But I mean, like outside of that, like when I first got into it, you know, I feel like I was able to gain notoriety quicker too because there wasn't a ton of people doing yeah, it for real. Yeah. Um, so when my stuff wasn't necessarily quality wise to where it is now, people were noticing me just because I was everywhere. That's the biggest, that's the biggest thing I feel like that kind of put me on the map is I was just everywhere. Like every game, every buzzing game you can get to, you know, you work, workouts with different athletes, like all that type of stuff. Like it's going to seem fun on paper, but like. It's a grind. It, it really is. It's a bro. lot of hours. You get to that, unless you know somebody, like, unless you're, like, given the best camera, the best lens, and you're just, like. I mean, even that, though, like, you got to, I feel like you got to put real time oh, yeah, into the industry sure. to, like, really, you know, see some decent results. Hell, yeah. Um, but you need to get into it because you love creating. You love being around a game. Like, it needs to be deeper than. I'm trying to get views. I'm trying to get hell yeah. Get my page popping, like whatever. Trying to get a free trip to Peach Jam, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so that's the biggest thing I'll say for sure is you gotta get into it for the right reasons, cause then it makes that grinding, that stuff that I'm not gonna say I enjoy every second of it, but if you can really enjoy the process, that's what's gonna that's what's gonna get you far. It's the best way I can put it. But the next, where we're gonna go next? Facility? Probably go to facility. We're gonna go facility. We're gonna upload these pictures really quick. Might okay. get a little work in. Hell yeah. Whatever. All right, let's go. <laughs> Where all the magic is made. <laughs> I just know it sounds like I have a mic on. Right here, 240. Go for digital. The bunch of different stations. Almost everything got two monitors, except for that one. But that is a fast computer. It's got a nice keyboard. But it's on Go for Digital's budget. Don't <laughs> mind. So yeah, oh. we got more. <laughs> more stuff in here. Let's take video. Oh my God, it's a. It's the Holy Grail. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god. <sighs> What's in there, man? It's all in the bro. Who need them? <laughs> bodies. Who need them? Wait, let me take a picture of that. I need to take a picture of that. Get... I've never, oh, I've never seen a G Master in like that. G Masters. Like... Yeah. But then, this is where. Oh, oh my god. This is the beater right here. Yeah. It comes with that? Yeah. That's, but we normally. I mean, you can see it's rigged up right here. Yeah. Wait, Cody, do that, dude. I don't think it has a battery in it. Oh, it probably doesn't. Fuck. Here, you can grab one. It's right over here. Where at? This is a dream right here. A bin of just charged batteries. <laughs> You'll be lucky if you wake up with some charge. If you got to shoot the same day. Hmm. I'm getting all the fucking angles, nigga. Stop playing with me, bro. But this is like... Bro, the menu is so confusing, bro. Let me see. I don't need <laughs> I don't even wanna look at the rest. You know how much like how much is this in my hand right now? Probably ten. Um, ten at least. I say around ten, because the body body's not terrible. Oh like, wait, no, wait, this is this is FX six, I'm tweaking. Yeah. This is this is more like seven. Seven. Yeah. There's all day. Dude. We have like so much stuff. I like the little wink thing that they I don't even know when we started doing that shit. When these men join forces for the focus of reaching the same goals to obtain the same outcomes, they are not two, but one. Alright, so that should be the end of the vlog. I really try to do different stuff here and there. Try to get a lot of footage. This is probably going to be a rather longer video. Probably like a... I don't know how long I'm going to make this, but I hope you guys did enjoy it. I'll see y'all later. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm out.